WAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist TJ Springer. What a number that upper low has done to us across the valley from blustery wind to snow squalls and we're still seeing some lingering snow shower activity across the region. The storm team live radar network showing the bulk of it now to our north and also our west. More lake effect driven now versus the convective nature, the snow squall activity that we had earlier because of the instability, the cold air aloft with the help of the sun too and the lift with that upper low. Now we still have a couple of areas picking up on some lighter snow shower activity on live local aid and the storm team live radar network out toward Franklin County, south and west of Chambersburg and up toward Mifflin and Juniata County seeing some lighter flurry activity there. But I think for the most part, we're now seeing the lake effect snow to our northwest. I think the valley, aside from maybe a flurry or stray snow shower, I think we're starting to see the snow wind down. But here's a look at the capital city. Multiple snow squalls moved through during the evening. You can see the sun popped out. Another one came on through closer to 7 o'clock. And what a crazy view, a cool view seeing some of those work through, but it made for near whiteouts and really some tough driving conditions. You know, you never want to be driving when one is moving in. You need to pull over and try to take a break before uh, it moves through or after it moves through and you can get back out on the roadways. Now tonight we're back in the low to mid thirties. We are expecting the wind to continue to howl gusts beyond 40 miles per hour. The clouds though breaking up with drier air starting to work in mid to upper thirties tomorrow morning. Wind chills though in the twenties with that strong wind gusts up beyond uh, 40. Still seeing a brighter day, so it's kind of a glass half full Monday for us. We're back close to 50, seasonable, but the wind's still cranking even through tomorrow evening. That's why we have that uh, impact day once again. Now, since midnight, gusts have gotten past 50 miles per hour in many neighborhoods. Palmyra, 52 miles per hour, 45, a peak gust in Gettysburg, Adams County, a little bit lighter in uh, Mechanicsburg at 36 since midnight and then some other spots, Mannheim, Shrewsbury, 50 miles per hour plus a little bit lighter in Chambersburg, but still strong wind 40 miles per hour. The peak gust there in uh, Franklin County in uh, Chambersburg. The gusts now between 40 and 45 miles per hour from Lancaster to the capital city Carlisle now at 44 and the gust still going to be able to get up beyond 40 miles per hour through the overnight through tomorrow's high pressure starts to build in keeping that tight pressure gradient across the area. You can see the worst of the wind really through mid afternoon tomorrow. Then it starts to lighten up, settling down some as we head through Monday evening. But still, you'll definitely need to be careful out there. Could have some down branches, could have some spotty power outages. We have that a uh, wind advisory in effect for that reason for the strong wind until eight o'clock tomorrow evening. Now with the wind, wind chills going to be in the 20s. So if you're getting out early tomorrow morning, maybe you're heading off to school, off to work. You'll need the uh, heavier winter jacket. You can see even despite temperatures warming up nicely, still going to feel like the 30s throughout much of the day. Here's predictions. You can still see a spotty flurry through the wee hours of our Monday. But again, I think for the most part, our snow chance is diminishing quite quickly. Plenty of sunshine by sunrise tomorrow and through mid morning, through the lunch hour and into the afternoon, looking like a better, brighter, just blustery day across the valley. But as higher pressure continues to build in, we are going to have better conditions into our Tuesday. And if you're hoping for some spring like conditions after today, we're nine days away from the official start to spring. And it looks like we're going to have some spring like conditions to contend with. Of course, that is March 19th, 1106 Eastern Daylight Time. Now the News 8 Storm Team 10 day forecast does feature 60s and 70s. We're back into the mid 60s Tuesday. Plenty of sunshine, nearly 70 Wednesday, but I think we get there Thursday and Friday ahead of another system that does bring some moisture. Of course, you guessed it just in time for this upcoming weekend. Not looking too wet on St. Patrick's Day, but we are looking chillier there, McKenna. Back into the 40s we go by the first day of spring. It sure feels like spring. Thanks, TJ.